In our last video, we looked at why the business model of mobile glass replacement is rapidly becoming a thing of the past. In this video, we're going to look at common calibration failures related to glass repair next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. The battle of which is the best glass to use, OE or aftermarket, has created a diagnostic nightmare for technicians completing ADAS calibrations. When a calibration fails, the first thing everyone blames is the glass. Instead of diagnosing why the calibration failed, many companies instead will remove the aftermarket windshield and replace it with a dealer windshield. Once the replacement is completed, the calibration will be attempted again to success, creating the assumption that the aftermarket glass was inferior to the dealer glass and caused the failed calibration. This may not be true, however, but because no one bothered to try to find out why the initial calibration failed, we'll never know the cause. There are many things that may cause a calibration to fail. One possibility, obviously, is the quality of the glass used in the installation. Or the glass installed in the vehicle did not have the proper bracket alignment for the ADAS camera to mount to. In many of these failed calibrations, it's human error. Technicians must be aware of the things that can cause the camera to be confused or unable to focus on the target being used when doing a calibration. The camera could be confused due to the reflection of the target on the hood. Once you spread a cloth out across the hood to minimize the reflection, the calibration is successful. In cases where the camera is facing a door with windows in the building where the calibration is being performed, the glare from the sun coming through the windows can confuse the camera making it difficult for it to focus on the target boundaries. Or how about an auto glass technician while cleaning the windshield prior to installation sprays glass cleaner into the bracket opening the camera sees the roadway through. When they do not clean or remove the spots caused by the glass cleaner, it causes interference to the camera during the calibration. Other failed calibrations have been traced back to technicians not correctly lining up the target by either using the wrong measurements or the floor being uneven, or the calibration being done in an area where there is a drain in the floor, causing the angle of the vehicle to be different than the target. It is crucial that technicians follow the directions and know what parameters must be met for every calibration that is performed on vehicles when using static targets. When dynamic calibrations are required, it's important the technician know the OE parameters necessary to achieve that dynamic calibration. The dynamic calibration requires the vehicle to be driven down the road, but many technicians fail to consider what speed the vehicle must achieve, the lines in the roadway, how many signs are along the roadway, and the density of the traffic around the vehicle. This is where a remote service provider can be of tremendous value. Even the location of the sun during a dynamic calibration may determine whether the calibration is successful or not. Failure to understand these parameters during a drive cycle of the vehicle will cause a dynamic calibration to fail, and now time and effort will be needed to diagnose the problem. If aftermarket glass was used, that may lead a technician to believe that aftermarket glass is the reason the calibration failed. This will require the technician, under false pretenses, to remove the aftermarket windshield and replace with a new OEM windshield. This might have been an unnecessary step, if the technician simply took the time to diagnose the reason why the calibration failed versus assuming it was the glass. So now you know that it is no longer just throwing a piece of glass on a vehicle. Windshield replacement is now demanding skill sets and services that have forever altered the business model many auto glass companies used for many years. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Studio. Thanks for watching.